Hey everyone, my name is Johnny, so please excuse the noise in the background that I may have. Today I want to be showing you guys how to set up debit spreads and credit spreads. Um, it's going to be really simple, it's going to be about four on the bullish and bearish side. So there is a bullish call debit spread, bearish put debit spread, bullish put credit spread, and bearish call credit spread. We're going to be using the Robinhood's trading options platform and we're going to be using Apple as an example. So we're going to go ahead and trade options on Apple. And I'm just going to go all the way down here to just show you guys an example on how to set up. Um, it does, it, I'm not going to go all the way there to confuse. So I'm just going to pick a strike down here and play around with it. So the first one we're going to be doing is a bullish call debit spread. So in order to set up a bullish call debit spread, we're going to go ahead and do buy call. So buy call. Um, I'm just going to use this $90 strike as an example. And when I sell call above the buy strike, so it can be here, $3 wide, $2 wide, or $1 wide. And this would be two leg um, option. And yeah, this would be a bullish call debit spread. Um, if it goes below, this would be a bearish. So I'll talk about that later and how to set up a bearish call credit spread. But for now, this is a bullish call debit spread. It can be $2, $3 wide strike, and $4 wide strike. Okay, the next one we're going to be talking about is a bearish put debit spread. So in order to set up a bearish put debit spread, you're going to have to go buy put. So we're just going to pick a strike here, and then buy put, and then sell put below that of the strike. So you know here it can be three dollar wide, two dollar wide, you know, and the one dollar wide, and this would be a bearish put debit spread. The next one I'm going to be showing you is a bullish put credit spread. So in order to do a bullish put credit spread, buy put, um, and then you know you pick you know whatever strike you want, buy put, and then sell the put above that strike. It can be a one dollar wide strike, two dollar, or three dollar, and it'll still be a bullish put credit spread. All right, the last one would be a bearish call credit spread. In order to set up a bearish call credit spread, do buy call. You know, you pick a strike wherever you want and sell the strike below that, or sell the call below the strike where you buy the strike is. And it can be a one dollar wide, two dollar wide, three dollar wide strike, and it'll be a bearish call credit spread. Thank you for watching. I hope this helps you on how to set it up.